Hello beautiful explanters or soon to be explanters. Welcome to week six of my explant journey series that I'm doing here on YouTube with everybody. This one is about physical changes after explant and uh, how we are hoping they're going to be good. Um, they are going to happen no matter what. For me, I did not care how it was going to look. I know. I know a lot of you are, are really, really worried. Um, and I was just worried that I was not going to make it out of there alive. So, um, I know my husband cared though. He was concerned that, uh, you know, I wasn't going to be the woman that he had married. I'm pretty sure of it. He married somebody with triple E's, which is what I had. And, um, you know, I had, I had a certain look that I'm pretty sure he loved and that, that was a look that I was going for. But I realized now that um, that wasn't me. So anyways, when I went into having explant surgery, I went in there just to come out alive. And I think he knew, well, he did know that my life was on the line because I had the um, Allergan textured implants that had been recalled. So they had to come out. So I knew that uh, I was gonna go in, I mean, come out looking completely different. But I just wanted to come out of it alive. So after I had the explant surgery, I was in extreme pain, extreme pain. Some people are gonna tolerate it differently. Um, I went back to the doctors and he took off the compression band, which hurts so much, ladies, you know it, but it has to stay on no matter what who you see, what kind of surgery you have, you have to have a compression bra. And mine hurt so much, he took it off. And I saw the look on the doctor's face and my husband's face, and I knew it didn't look good. I did not, I didn't expect it to look good. It'd been two days later, but I did look in the mirror briefly and it was, it wasn't pretty. It was a scary thing. I mean, they had to cut all the way under here um, and remove the implants. So I was just completely bruised, like you're gonna be, we're all gonna be bruised and there was nothing left and it was, it was like, uh, I'm not pretty. But I wasn't like, oh my God, I was alive. That's all that mattered. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. Uh, for, uh, for some of you, um, you place a high value on your appearance. I, I get that we, we all do in some aspect. I mean, I want to look good on here. I, wanna, I still want to look good for myself and, and, uh, but you have to just accept it for what it is. You are going to have physical changes. Um, so you are going to be challenged with how, how you look afterwards and you're not going to, you're not going to be the same. You're going to be alive. You're going to have healthy tissue. Your body's going to start to heal. Um, without uh, without health, you have nothing. By the way, nothing. So who cares anymore? If you have somebody that loves you, great. You, you need to love yourself. That's number one. Your health is the foundation for everything. Um, without it, all the beauty in the world means nothing. Nothing at all. So if you are dying of cancer from your implants or autoimmune diseases or your hair is falling out and all the stuff that goes with breast implant illness, none of it matters. So expect your body to have changed. I had an exceptionally skilled surgeon, Dr. Shahar Khan. Actually, he specializes in explant surgery and I had some fluffing Okay, some fluffing, which happens usually three to three to nine months after you have your surgery. It's called fluffing. It's a phenomenon and your your fat comes back in your breast tissues or it just starts to reattach. I don't really know the science behind it, but it actually happened to me. I got a little bit back and uh, I still wonder why I did it, but I did get some fluffing back and... Um, it took, for me, it took two years to heal, 100%, two years about. And uh, for me, I still have, like I've got a little dent right here in my left breast, a little pucker. Um, I'm not gonna show you, but uh, it's, it's not 100%, but they settled 
in nicely and um, I am not mutilated like I was told I would be. I would be mutilated. I would be depressed and don't do it. Oh, but Allergan would give me new um, implants. That That's what they said. They wouldn't take the old ones out unless I had new ones put in. It's just a bizarre, a bizarre thing that uh, is going on out there, but it's going to take time to adjust. I didn't get any put back in, like, no way. That is so done for me. Uh, embracing the new you can lead to a deeper uh, appreciation of who you are. And focusing on your well-being also can bring a different kind of beauty and one that comes from within. And you start to prioritize your health and you radiate a kind of vitality uh, and strength that no amount of makeup or fake breasts or stylish clothes can replicate. And that is knowing you're going to live and knowing who you are inside of you. That inner glow is what truly makes you shine. That's what makes you shine. It's not a pair of triple Ds, okay? It's just, it's not, it's, it's who you are. And remember, the people who truly care about you will see your beauty regardless of your physical changes. It does all come from within and um, it's, it's, a, it's a journey. Ladies, it's a journey. You're going to have to accept the changes in your body and just in, embrace it. And it's so nice to wear a small bra again and not to look like my boobs are coming first into the room. Uh, I, I love the fact that the clothes fit me better. I always felt like a little bit chunky when I had the big, huge boobs. I, I don't know, I kind of just backfired on me. So anyways, it is a journey and um, you're gonna experience some ups and downs and you, you probably will not be happy in the beginning, but it, after about a year and your body has healed and you do your massaging, which I will do a video on, it's too soon to do the video yet but I'll show you what I did for the scars which are pretty well gone now and helping your body reattach itself so it's going to take some time and so week seven I'm doing week seven uh actually I might do a 6.5 on how to massage your breasts to get them back um reappeared uh, so that's going to be coming up as well as um, coping emotionally after explant. I mean, I did do a quick, a quick blog about um, how much I cried, and it is so normal to cry and cry and cry, um, and, and what I, you know, coping emotionally with all the changes. So I'll share my thoughts on that in week seven, as well as if you like this video, um, please share it. Please share it. There are so many women out there that are alone and suffering in silence. They don't need to. Um, they need support. We all need support. We all need to find our group and uh, hopefully you're, you're watching other women that are going through it. You're watching me. Um, we don't need to suffer in silence. Okay. You guys can all reach out to me anytime you'd like. I, I'm here. Um, and also stay tuned because I'm going to be talking more and more about my explant guidebook that I'm actually going to have published for you to have in your hand to go through, have the list step by step of what it is that you're going to need to, to get through the journey. And that's emotionally, spiritually, financially, what you need to pack, what, you know, what kind of things you're going to need extra, where to go, where to find your surgeon, where to stay, everything. So stay tuned share, like, and I'll see you guys in a week. Bye.